Hello gamers, uh, Pet here. Welcome to another Unity Asset Review and Tutorial. Uh, in this episode we are going to talk about Enhanced Hierarchy 2.0 developed by Samuel Schultz. Schultz? Uh, something like that. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> uh, he's actually a cool guy that I, uh, I have to cover two of his assets. Uh, Enhanced Hierarchy and another one uh, that's actually also kind of great. Before we begin, uh, check this out. Uh, the asset is like very, very, very small, like uh, 100 kilobytes. And in those uh, kilobytes, you actually also get this uh, zip file, which is actually a DLL connection or co connection of the script itself in case you want a DLL and you don't want the scripts themselves. So it's even less than that. And one of the reasons why I like Enhanced Hierarchy um, uh, 2.0 is because it's super lightweight and it, it it does exactly what it should do and it's not really uh, heavy like some of the other assets that I've tried out. Uh, I, I tried one of them uh, some time ago and I was like a bit like oh now I need to learn the hierarchy and how to use the hierarchy. No, no, this is, this is, this is, I don't want to do that now. So I went back to Enhanced Hierarchy 2.0 and as you can see this is how it looks. Uh, and if you, you you can disable this is how the unity uh, normal uh, hierarchy normal hierarchy looks and you can see it's looking much 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 prettier and I like especially the the row colors that you can the oscillate between two colors and I like that though those row colors go until you know on, on the whole window and it doesn't stop uh, at the game objects that you have it's uh, something uh, Sometimes I'm a little bit OCD when it comes to stuff like this. So anyway, um, the, the current price is $10. Right now it's on sale at $7. Of course, the price can increase or go below. Uh, so that's why I'm one of the reasons why I'm not talking about uh, the price too much. And this is how it can look for you. As you can see here, it supports icon. This is uh, uh, the game object icon. This is the prefab icon. In case there is something missing, uh, like a prefab is unlinked, you can see it with red. Uh, you can see what's disabled. Um, uh, which is grayed out a little bit. You get uh, warnings, you get uh, uh, notifications from uh, and you know compilers, and you see the icon, and you know that that game object uh, uh, gave out a notice or a, or a warning. And you can also customize those icons, and those icons are if it's visible or not, if it's locked, if it's static, if you can you can apply the prefab tag and layers. Uh, so let's actually go into the options themselves. Uh, but before that, uh, one cool feature that you, you, you can have is you can ro uh, click and right click like this and you can select multiple uh, assets and this is actually pretty nice. I mean, it's a, it's a small addition, but it's a fast way to select multiple assets without, you know, touching your keyboard. So let's go to edit, let's go to preferences and then we have the hierarchy. Uh, you can, of course, enable it and disable it without deleting the actual, uh, you know, script files and that's great. Uh, you have a small offset over here, uh, which uh, you can't really see it because I've hidden the icons from uh, from the right. And I will add them. Let's actually add a couple of them uh, now. You, you, you can customize, you can see you can customize the left side and you can customize the right side, or whatever it's here. So let's actually add uh, a lock layer and let's actually add uh, whatever a tag right and let's say that we want to lock the game manager if i press the lock key here as you can see it gets disabled over here and this is kind of great and i'm mentioning this because at one point i forgot about this feature and somehow i locked uh, uh, a game object and i was like why why is it grayed out what the hell is going on and i had to restart unity tube and then i figured it out that hey it's because of this so this is actually kind of great so you have this offset over here, which is good because you know that there are other assets that are adding their own icon and maybe and, and sometimes they overlay. And this is like a good way for you to to offset uh, to offset the icons uh, for one thing. Then you have the, the hierarchy tree, which uh, let me actually uh, get it like this a little bit. Uh, as you can see, this is the hierarchy tree. You can hide it. I actually like it uh, to see that kind of tree. You have tooltips. If you get your cursor over, you can see there is a tooltip that's coming out. You see the tag, you see the sprite, you see the components that are on uh, on that layer. And you can do that without actually um, selecting um, the, the, the game object. And you will be like, yeah, but why? Why it's so hard to select? Maybe you, maybe you have the inspector locked because you want to have some options here and you want to see, well, what what are these placed? Oh, I have, I have an audio listener. Oh, okay, bam, bam. Uh, something like that, right? Um, so uh, you have the relevant tooltips. You have enhanced selection, uh, which I believe is the right-click thing that I talked about. Yep. 
uh, you have trailing, which I kind of forgot what it is. Uh, hide the default icon. You can uh, you can hide that, and um, you can set up the line thickness. Again, uh, it's a nice thing, and then you can also set the color of uh, of the lines. So I'm going to copy paste the hex color just so it be safe. And look, hey, it's it's ooh interesting look I, I i know the settings but i never played with them too much because uh man the default settings were good enough for me so another thing that you can do as you can see over here my canvas is having a different color why because it has the layer ui and you can add uh, let's let's put the game manager on the layer i don't know water i do hope that i will uh, change it later <laughs> or I won't save this whole thing. So let's put it out water and then let's put it up to be I believe uh, Like this and then you also need of course the alpha don't forget the alpha so And it's it's a nice addition so you can differentiate the layers from from uh, all other stuff, right? Um, so let's actually delete this and uh, put my game manager back because I don't want to get crazy why some things start not working so mini label mini label you can put up uh, a label there this is the game manager uh, and this is the main camera this is the tag i'm using or you can put up the layer or you can use a smaller font or, or, or a bigger font as you can see and you can hide or not hide the untagged which is i don't know maybe you also want that uh, I, I don't want anything like that and uh, you can also customize the the left side icons as you can see here and the right side icons i've already showed you and uh, in this project I, I don't need them right now so this is uh, like a first uh, preview for enhanced hierarchy 2.0 uh, as i've said uh, i like it because the price it's uh, it's very decent uh, it's very lightweight i don't feel that it's clogging up uh, too many things i didn't got any um, any errors or any problems with it uh, you can enable it disable pretty fast and as i've said i like this row color change and uh, I like that the colors are that the rows are going uh, to the whole panel size, and that yet again it's not like with cramped with too many things because I don't want to, to, to learn a new asset like to learn a hierarchy plugin, for example. <laughs> so anyway, I hope this was useful uh, for you. Don't forget to check uh, gamerpad.com. Uh, I also created an article for uh, for this asset, and in case you want to check this out from the asset store, make sure you click uh, the link in the description. So thank you guys for watching this. Uh, see you soon. Goodbye.